everyone, it's great to be with you again for our latest in Resurrection Tales, stories that come from the life of Jesus as he rose from the dead. Back with Mary um, at the tomb, she just met these two angels and she's been weeping and she's still weeping. And then she meets a man and she thinks he's the gardener and asks her where he's put the body. This is John chapter 20 verse 15 thinking he was the gardener. But we know that she was wrong, but on another level she was absolutely right. I guess this is a time for gardening. I am exploring my garden and I have an enemy. The enemy is called Green Alconet. It is a vicious and horrible enemy. I am fighting it with all I can. It is a weed with roots that go down about that deep. It has green furry leaves that sting slightly as you pull at them. And it has for a while a pretty blue flower, which you soon realize when it comes out means that more seeds will go out. And the green alkanet has spread all over a complete flower bed. And I have been digging it up and digging and digging and digging in order to plant out a new flower bed. And I'm delighted to say I've been given all kinds of gifts of flowers. Hellebores from Helena, uh, delphiniums from Trish, hostas from Neruda, and from Deborah some ferns and some and more hellebores. And these are going to be planted out to make it, a, I hope, a beautiful garden with either the green alkanets eradicated or put in its place so it is where it should be. And I think this is a bit of a parable for us because Jesus is our gardener and he wants to come into our lives to root out those things that shouldn't be there or to put them where they should be in the right place and not dominating. Because there are many things like say a glass of wine which is great until we had too many glasses of wine. He is the one who is gardening our lives. He wants to eradicate those things that are evil. He wants to put in place those things that are good, that we abuse. And he wants to plant new things in our lives, things that will flower and be wonderful. So the question is, will we let him? You see, he really is a gardener. He was in the Garden of Eden. He is called the second Adam, but he was there creating the Garden of Eden. He will be there in the garden outside the new city of Jerusalem, which you'll find in Revelation 21, where there are wonderful trees for healing and a stream flowing through. He was, of course, there in the Garden of Gethsemane. And now he's in the garden below Golgotha, where he died, at the tomb where he was buried. Truly, he is a gardener. Mary was not wrong. And he is the one who makes a new creation of everything. He created in the first place and he will recreate in the last place. He's put everything in its place. He is the word of creation. And so I am trying to turn green alkanets into delphiniums. I am trying to see hellebores flourish and goodness knows what, and I'm learning all kinds of new things. But this I know also, Jesus is a far better gardener than I am. But the garden, in my case, doesn't have a will. I just get on with it. We do. Will we let him into our lives to weed and recreate? Let's pray. Father God, help us now to be open to the work of the Spirit of Jesus, to weed out what is bad in our lives and to replant those things that are good, that we might praise him. Amen. <laughs>